Hey, what's up guys? This is Brad Split Fitness. And uh, today is Tuesday, June 29th. Nine. Almost the end of June, almost into July. Yay. Um, it's just Nat and I. Nat's on the camera. Uh, we're gonna get after some um, some speed work. Uh, everyone else, they train but did it elsewhere. Um, so today is gonna be our, our normal speed work. Uh, main effort is gonna be a three by three by three. So that means, you know, uh, three reps, three sets with three different hand grips. And essentially, again, I'm just gonna recap, looking for a lot of speed. Uh, I'm gonna be trying to move at about a meter per second. I think we're gonna add some band tension today and I'll just kind of play with what that looks like. Um, you know, kind of a moderate band tension. Uh, we're gonna do our wedding, excuse me, wedding warm up. If you can't tell, I'm in, a, I'm in a bit of a wind tunnel, so let me just break from the, the warm-up real fast and talk about the, the workout. Uh, I want to highlight this item right there. Yeah! As an oscillating wall fan that I, I put on. Um, got that installed today, and I'm super excited about it because, you know, training in the garage and here in the uh, Fort Campbell area, um, the southern Kentucky, northern Tennessee vicinity, um, it's kind of hot. So have that fan there, and then I have that fan that we've had for some time now, um, just sitting over there, just kind of creating some, some movement. And it actually is like, it's noticeably different. It's also a little bit cooler today because it was raining earlier, so that helps. But with that oscillating fan on there, just kind of kicking some, some wind around, definitely helps with a little bit of, uh, you know, convection, get some of that um, evaporation off the skin and cool you down. Um, this is a, something I picked up off of Amazon. So if you are a garage trainer and you're looking for a good fan, I really recommend this. The install was great and it throws around quite a lot of, uh, quite a lot of air. So pretty excited about that. So if that's something that you might be in the market for, I'll throw in some, uh, some links into the description box below for an affiliate link where you can find that. Um, so yeah, back to the deal. Gonna get after our warm up. Gonna do some pull downs. Gonna do a five board. Uh, gonna do some band push down and Arnold press. So um, the five board, we're using the bench blocks, these guys here. So gonna work on that, uh, that lockout. And then uh, the Arnold press, if you're not familiar with what that is, I'll demonstrate it here shortly. Um, and then we're gonna, like I said, move into the main workout and get after it. Should be a pretty fast one with just Nat and I. So it's time to kick on some music and get after it. Hopefully you guys will stick around and check out this, this workout and these movements and food for thought for you guys when you go out your own training. So yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and we'll see you on the other side. Here we go. Ah. So we're through the winning warm-up and into the main element. And I know that I've discussed this before, but it, it bears repeating because there might be some new viewers to the channel or maybe somebody sees this video versus another. Um, and so what I want to talk about is like the setup for my dynamic effort. And in my dynamic dynamic effort is speed, right? I'm trying to, I'm trying to move quickly. And ideally, I'm attempting to move at about a meter per second. And I can measure that because I have my velocity-based trainer that I can actually measure my bar speed um, to be able to determine where I am. So my, my, VBP, my VBT is this right here. So it's the, um, the Squats and Science uh, open barbell. And so it's got a little tether and uh, as the, the pull chain pulls, there's a little computer in there that does the calculation to figure out how fast that pull chain is moving, right? Uh, so again, for my speed work, I wanna be at about a meter per second. In terms of how I set things up from one week to another, I just change things around. I'm not necessarily locked into a pattern or, you know, a kind of a linear mindset with my setup. I just kind of do it differently. So this week I have a little bit higher band tension with these these blue bands, and I have them doubled, right? Um, and so essentially, it doesn't really matter to me what's on the bar. I'm just changing the the, the, the stimulus around 
by making band tension higher or lower or making bar weight a little bit higher or lower. It, essentially, I'm gonna end up manipulating the weight to make sure that I end up at about a meter per second. So with this much band tension, I might not have a whole lot of bar weight on, uh, but I'm gonna still make sure that I'm moving at that, at that uh, one meter per second. If I were so curious about exactly what my setup was and where I have uh, in terms of band tension, I could do um, basically a, a, a measuring device, right? This is kind of an oversized luggage scale. This goes up to uh, 660 pounds. Um, and is really great and just kind of getting an, an idea about how much band tension or chain weight you're really dealing with. Um, and this device I bought on Amazon. I'll include a link in the description box below as well for this thing where you know you can throw this in your, in your gym bag and be able to have a more accurate idea about what band tension you are uh, using. So uh, just kick it on, make sure that I'm on pounds. We'll take the bands off and then I'll load it up here. And then you can see at the top kind of what more or less what I'm dealing with. It's not exact, 36. you know, about 36 pounds, you know, give or take an inch of movement or so. But that allows me to kind of know where I'm at uh, band tension wise, you know. So if we say 35 pounds, that's 70 pounds of, of tension, 45 pounds of bar weights, that's 115. So I, I have an idea of roughly what my, my weight is at the top. But again, the weight's not really what I'm concerned about. I'm concerned about the speed. So I just wanna make sure that's, that's crystal clear with what the setup is and give you guys some ideas about how you can manipulate it. And again, if I use, if I end up using more band tension, less band tension week to week to week, that's great because essentially I'm just changing the stimulus. So I'm not doing the same thing always, uh, every week, you know, all the time. So my body gets used to that. I'm changing things around. So. Without any further ado, I'm gonna test this out to make sure that my speed is where I want it to be so I can dial in my bar weight. And then we're gonna rock out these, these three by three by threes. Here we go. Blah. that's the video that's it um you know got in and talked a little bit about some of the stuff that we have um you know the fans i, I kicked them off now that's the phone i kicked them off uh now just so it's a little bit more quiet and you can actually hear me without yelling um but again got this uh this hurricane fan uh wall mounted if you go ahead and take a look um wall mounted and it oscillates um and it puts out quite a lot of uh quite a lot of volume of um you know, just moving cubic meters of air i guess i don't know but, uh, but yeah, it's, it, I don't, I'm not quite exactly sure what the specs are in it, but like I said before, um, for the fan and all the uh, various items that I use today, I'll, I'll include a, a link in the description box below if any of those things are a point of interest for you that you might want to pick up. Um, touched on the fan, touched on the, the bench block, used bands today, so if you're interested in getting some bands, I'll have a link for that as well. Um, so just a, a variety of items for you to kind of check out if you, uh, if you so desire. Um, but the speed day was good. Talked a little bit about how I do what I do in terms of determining what type of resistance I'm going to use uh, week in, week out. Um, and then, you know, just got after it. Some weight was moving really, really well today. And we're going to finish things out by just doing a little bit of extra, um, some back work and some bicep work just to kind of round things out. Um, but it's not all that interesting. So there's no reason to kind of catch it here and, and belabor the point. Um, but. I just wanted to wrap this down. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop in the chat box below. I will respond. I appreciate you guys continuing to support me at the channel and everything that you do, like, shares, and subs, it means the world. Uh, if you've seen the video or two and haven't joined the channel, I wish that you would. Uh, I think like I think like 80% of my views are non-subscribers. Uh, so if that's you, consider joining the family for a little while. Uh, or forever. Forever. Um, yeah. That's it guys, remember no matter what it is you think you can't do, like training, uh, change up your, your training modality and add some different things, uh, different elements uh, into your training to, to keep it fresh. That's never gonna happen if you don't get it in and train despite, you're either gonna find an excuse, you're gonna find a way. 
and I hope that you guys continue to find the way. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace. Blah.